What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos. Tonight I want to talk to you guys about theming in Linux Mint. So one of the things that I think was most loved by your old school GNOME 2 users was being able to apply custom themes and icon themes to your desktop. I think it's a way that people um, are able to make their desktop their own and I think it was one of the things that people loved to do the most and I noticed when GNOME Shell hit the scene because it was new there wasn't as many themes available for it so you know people couldn't easily customize their desktop anymore and it was one of the biggest complaints believe it or not that I think that I saw with you know the switch from GNOME 2 to GNOME Shell um, so one of the things that I think Linux Mint tackled early on was this ability to uh, update to update the theme, both your GTK theme as well as the icon theme in their desktop with Cinnamon. So I'm going to show you guys the theme I'm using because I get that question all the time. And I'm going to specifically go over how easy it is to actually work with themes in the Cinnamon desktop here in Linux Mint. So first and foremost, if we go into our uh, control panel or the system settings here, you see that there is a themes icon. So if you go on that, uh, click that icon here, uh, I've got some uh, themes that I already have installed. You can go to the get more online tab. I'll refresh my list. Now when you refresh your list, if there's an update for your particular theme, it'll actually notify you, which is really nice. And it'll bring in the online catalog. Now this is really, really unique. I haven't seen this in any other desktop environment. Love the way that the Linux Mint team integrates this directly into their desktop environment. You know, when you were on GNOME 2, you would have to go to a website like maybe GNOME Look and actually download a theme and install it. Here, it integrates it right into the settings panel and connects you to an online repository of themes. Uh, and I think that that's fantastic. It's a great way to actually integrate theming which I think again has been such a really popular feature with Linux and the Mint team recognized that and integrated that into their desktop and I think it's a really really smart decision now themes are user preference so the theme I'm using right here I think is amazing it's the best theme that I have found yet for cinnamon I hope it gets updated soon we'll talk about updating in a minute um, but somebody may not like this I like dark themes um, when it comes to like the panel and menus and such, ever since Gnome Shell uh, has come on the scene, I've gotten really used to that dark panel, and I really like it. Uh, makes things easy to read, and I just like the look of it. So, um, but somebody else may not. But that's what's great about having all these theme options. You can play around with all the different themes and find something you like. So for me, now installing a theme is very simple. All you do is, you know what? We'll find one here. Um, let's go with one of the top rated ones, I guess. We'll go with this minty theme. Just check the box and hit install or update. When you see this little um, circle with the green check mark, you know that it's been installed. Now, if you want more information on the theme, and I highly recommend uh, before you install the theme, um, you actually click this little more info link. It's going to launch your web browser. And big shout out to Jupiter Broadcasting. I'm watching one of their latest episodes of Linux Unplugged. Also a Linux Action Show fan. So anyway, this is a perfect example of why it's important to probably check these out. Now, of course, you've got a rating system here. And on the right-hand side, it gives you kind of a, a user rating. And uh, we'll come back to that in a minute. But this is Minty 2.2. Um, this is going to give you a brief description about you know about the theme itself a change log so on and so forth I'd like to draw your attention right here last edited one year ago and certification cinnamon 1.6 so those two things are really important this says that to the best of the developers um, knowledge it's compatible with cinnamon 1.6 and it was edited a year ago so now we're on cinnamon 2.0 in fact it was updated today on the Mint uh, 16RC, we're at 2.0.14. So, you know, 1.6 is a while ago. If you install this theme, the majority of it may work, but you may run into something um, that does not. So be mindful of when the theme was last edited 
and the version of Mint it's compatible with. So I like the ability to be able to actually get more info on that theme before you install it. So that's really, really nice. Now, uh, as far as different elements of the theme, if you come over here to other settings, you're actually able to adjust all sorts of things, all sorts of things like uh, the controls, the icons. I have the infamous Fayenza icons and Fayence icons installed. Uh, installing icons is very simple, although it doesn't have an interface here for it. You just download the icons that you like. I think I picked those two packages up off of um, DeviantArt, and they were in zip files. I just extracted them and then pushed them to my um, user share icons directory, and that's it. I opened up this interface here in the um, system settings, and I was able to adjust the different um, icons. So simply select it, the icon theme that you'd like, and here you go. It changes your icons. Very, very easy. I particularly think that the Mint X dark icons look the best. It has this nice minty green, goes with everything else. Um, but your window borders, um, mouse pointer, so on and so forth, um, you can change all that from this panel right here. Now the theme I have installed that I think is awesome is this one right here. It's TYR space J-O-R-D. Now if you look at that here, if we go and get some more info, we see that this is compatible with Cinnamon 1.8 and it was updated or last edited six months ago. So I took a little bit of a chance um, running it with the Cinnamon 2.0, but everything seems to be working pretty well so far. And I think it looks great. And I'll give you guys a brief tour of the actual theme itself. So, of course, the top panel is um, black. You have a semi transparent menu here, which I think looks really great. You've got this nice little green box that goes around any of your selections. And your search box has this great kind of green gradient search icon right here. And everything matches really well with this desk, uh, this wallpaper. Now, everyone always asks me about my wallpapers. If we go into backgrounds, I'm using one of the stock wallpapers that actually comes with Linux Mint 16. And that's the one that simply says Petra. All right, so I think the this theme here and this wallpaper go really really nicely together let's look at some of the menus calendar so the coloring is awesome I think it looks really really nice very professional if you look at the window list up here you'll see that you have these nice little a nice little green almost box goes around your um, the active window that your cursor is actually pointing over and then it dims when you move to another selection so I think it looks great so if you're looking for that nice old-school theme ability for your desktop one of the things that I think made Linux really unique especially to every user anytime you look up Linux videos online especially older ones especially uh, people using a GNOME 2 desktop, almost no two desktops look the same. And that's because everyone was able to really customize it and make it their own. And I think in that GNOME 2, um, GNOME Shell, GNOME 3 transition, one of the things that really hurt, I guess if you want to use that word for lack of a better term, users the most is their ability to make their desktop their own. So I think the Mint team did a great job integrating um, themes into their desktop environment. And I think they did it in a very intuitive uh, clever way that I haven't seen in any other desktop environment. So uh, that's themes in Linux Mint 16 and Cinnamon 2.0. If you guys like the video, be sure to click the thumbs up uh, right down here below. And if you like the content, uh, consider subscribing to my channel. I try to produce regular Linux content on a regular basis as well as I'm going to be mixing in some Android stuff as well. Um, but for those of you who have been subscribed, thank you so much for your support. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.